Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, we'll be implementing one amazing project called Facial Emotion Detection with the help of YOLO 11. So this is going to be a computer vision project. So here we'll try to detect actually various kinds of emotion. So we'll be using one uh, amazing actually emotion, uh, facial emotion data set. And I will also show you the data set, like how this data set looks like. So in this video, first of all, I will give you the project introduction and the data overview. Even I will also show you how we can uh, train the model. And after training the model, how we can, let's say, download the model in our local machine. And in our local machine, how we can uh, do the real time, uh, let's say, detection operation with the help of our web camera. So this is going to be one amazing implementation, guys. So make sure you complete uh, this uh, video. And apart from that, if you want, you can also uh, update this project. If you want to add some new features, you can also add it. Okay, it's up to you. So uh, what is facial emotion detection, guys? I think you know, uh, it is nothing but let's say uh, there is a human and uh, this human is having actually different different facial expression like we see like uh, happy, angered, sad, confused, right, then bored. So these kinds of actually, let's say image you can collect and you can train one object detection model. But again, uh, see this is not a actually efficient way uh, to do the facial emotion detection because here we are doing the object detection and i think you know object detection will only create the bounding box okay on top of the object pattern okay let's say if object pattern is changing that time your detection will also change right but it can't actually exactly learn whether this person is happy okay or this person is angered or not this kinds of facial expression this model can't learn okay so for this, we have to use something called facial model, okay, face model. So in future, I will also uh, create some video there. I will also show you how we can uh, use actually different different face model, face embedding model to apart from these kinds of actually operation, let's say facial emotion detection. Okay, then we'll be also doing the face detection. These are the things we'll be doing. But in this video, I want to show uh, these kinds of, let's say detection can be also done with the help of YOLO 11 because YOLO 11 is like a very powerful model. So this YOLO 11 can also detect a small, small pattern uh, from image also. Okay. So that's why I want to show you uh, this project can be done with the help of uh, detection model also. But whenever we'll be implementing this project in the production, we'll try to use the facial model, okay, face embedding model. So I'll show you, okay, no need to worry. First of all, let's try to see how uh, we can develop this project. Uh, with the help of this detection algorithm got it so first of all uh, let me show you the data like uh, from where you will get this kinds of data and uh, uh, how to like, let's say download the data and how to prepare the training notebook so guys i'm going to use this data called facial emotion data set computer vision project okay so this data set is available roboflow universe so let me show you so if you go to the roboflow universe so I think you know Roboflow is a platform. It is having different different uh, let's say uh, product. So Universe is one of the product, okay. And inside Universe, you will be getting all kinds of computer vision related data, whether it is a computer vision classification, instance segmentation, key point detection, okay, or semantic segmentation. All kinds of data are available. Even this data set is already annotated. Okay, you don't need to annotate these other data. But if you want to annotate your own data, let's say you have the custom data, that time you can also annotate. For this, I already created uh, some tutorial in my YouTube channel, how to annotate the data with the RoboFlow platform. You can check it out, okay? Even I will also give the link in the description. From there, you can check it out. So guys, uh, you can see uh, here you can search actually what kinds of data you need. Either, either you can also filter out, let's say I want object detection data. I'll simply click on object detection. Now, if you go below, you will see that facial emotion data set is available. Okay, but from that, there are so many data set, okay? Related object detection. So here I'm going to use this particular data. Okay, you can see this is the data. Now, if I show you the image, it is having uh, almost uh, 1,227 image and all the classes you can also see like so if you click on the classes you will see uh, different different uh, classes we are having like angry is there disgust is there fear is there happy is there uh, neutral is there null is there sad is there surprise is there okay so here is the image okay uh, so uh, they have already annotated this image in the roboflow platform and this data set is already ready for the training so only you just need to download and you have to uh, train the model okay so if you also want you can also like annotate your own data for this, I will give the tutorial, okay, how to annotate your own data. But data annotation is the costly task, it's time taking task. So try to use the existing data if you have it, okay. Now, if I want to, let's say, get the data. So what I have to do, guys, I have to click on the download project. Now here, you will see one option called download data set, okay. Just try to click here and you will see that it will tell you, just try to select the format, okay, which format you want to download the data. 
So here we'll be using YOLO 11 model. So make sure you select the YOLO 11. Either you can download it as a zip file. Okay. Either you can download as a uh, code. Okay. So let me first of all download as a zip file and let me show you the data, how this data will look like. See, it is getting downloaded. Okay. You can see this data set is getting downloaded. So let's wait. Once the data is downloaded, I'll uh, come back and I will show you the data set. So guys, you can see my data is downloaded. Now let me unzip the data and let me show you uh, what will be the format of the data. So you can see unzip is completed. Now if I show you, so guys, you can see this is the data format. So you have uh, three folder called train, valid and test. So if I open the training and it is having the image and level. So here is the image guys. So you can see here all the image actually we're having. Okay. With all kinds of, let's say emotion. Okay. And this is the label. I think you know this is the YOLO annotation. Okay. And it will give you one TXT file inside that you have all the coordinate point with respect to their label. So I already created a tutorial related YOLO in my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Okay. So yeah. So guys, now you can see this is the data. And here you have one data.yml file. So let me open this data.yml file. Inside that you have the data location and number of classes you have seven angry, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, sad, and surprise. And these are some RoboFlow metadata. Okay. So with the help of this data, we'll try to train one um, like a model. Okay. YOLO 11 model. And uh, what we'll do after training it, we'll uh, try to download our, let's say, train model. And uh, with that model, we'll be doing the real time prediction with our web camera. Okay. So here we'll try to use the YOLO 11 for the detection uh, task. Okay. And I already showed you the data set. So this data set actually we will we, uh, we'll be using. Okay. And here I have already prepared one training notebook. So here we'll try to see the entire uh, like training step, how we can do the training. Okay. Uh, and I've already added the data link uh, and all the resources should be shared in the description from there you can download. So first of all, what you have to do, just try to connect your notebook with the GPU. So I'm using Colab Pro. That's why I'm having A100 GPU. But if you're using uh, free Colab, that time you can use the T4 GPU. Okay. Now let me connect my notebook. Okay. My notebook is connected now. If you want to check the GPU, so you can execute this command. So here you can see I got A100 GPU. Now the first thing you have to install the Alteralytics because I think you know uh, if I want to use YOLO 11, I have to install this package. Okay, Alteralytics because YOLO 11 is available inside Alteralytics. And this is the GitHub of Alteralytics. So simply just search for YOLO 11 GitHub. So you'll see that it is available inside Alteralytics. Okay, that's why we have to install the Alteralytics. So they have already given the command. Fine. Now, after that, if I show you the Alteralytics version and the Python version, because I need it uh, whenever we'll be doing the local setup, that time I need this version actually. Let me show you. So you can see I need to use Python uh, 3.10 environment. Okay. That time. And this is the Alteralytics version. Now let me import some of the necessary library. Then after that, we'll be downloading the data from the RoboFlow. So what you can do either you can upload that zip file you have downloaded in the last video, or you can directly download the data like that. So just click on download data set, click on the show code, continue, and there you will get a code snippet. Let's try to copy and just paste it here. Okay. Now if I execute, you'll see that automatically it will download the data from the RoboFlow universe. Okay. So that's how guys RoboFlow makes uh, most of the task easy. Okay. Now it is in the computer vision. That's why I personally prefer a lot. If you want to see the data location, see this is the data location. Got it. Now we'll start the training. Okay. And I think, you know, if I am using YOLO 11, it's like very easy to set up. Okay. So you don't need to do so many configuration. Now see, we can directly start the training, but before that you have to set the data location. So open up the data.yml file. Now inside that you can see these are the location I have to change. So let's me change. So let me first of all open the train, copy the image path and try to replace here. Okay. Similar wise I will do for the validation. So copy and paste. Then I will do it for my testing. Okay. So copy. Just a minute. Copy and try to mention it here. That's it. Now just try to press Ctrl S and close it. And after that, we can start the training. So guys, now let's start the training. You can see I'm executing this command YOLO task is equal to detect more is equal to train. And this is the data location I'm giving. Okay. And this model actually will be doing the fine tuning. Like So this model actually will be doing the fine tuning YOLO 11 NPT model. You can see it is having model two. So this model actually we are fine tuning. Okay. So you can start the training. So what you can do guys, you can increase the epoch size. So as of now, let's train only, uh, 10 epoch okay because it will take time um, i already trained one model guys let me show you so in my local machine it is available so here 
let me show you my model so guys you can see i already trained one model okay based pt so this model i trained around uh, 200 epoch so in case actually what you can do you can mention 200 epoch or 300 epoch okay but just to show you in this video i'm training 10 epoch okay just to complete this training quickly okay and this is the default image size you have to give because this image size they use during the training now if i execute you will see that tra my training will start So it will download the model, it will load the data, then it will start the training. So guys, you can see my training has started. So one epoch is going on and you can see the box losses, class losses, okay, everything. Now let's try to wait uh, once training is complete and I will come back and I will show you the like uh, some evaluation matrices as well. Then we'll download the model and we'll do the real time uh, detection with the help of our web camera. So my training is completed. Now let's do the like, uh, so guys you can see my training is completed and here you can see the map score mean average precision now let me show you some uh, like uh, evolution matrices so if you want to see the multi-class confusion matrix so it is available inside runs folder you can see runs folder has created inside that detect and train and inside wait i'm having my train model okay this is the train model so you have to download this model just try to click here and download this model guys okay because we have to use this model in our local machine and here are all the evaluation matrices graph now let me plot some of them and let me show you so this is the confusion matrix multi-class confusion matrix and this is the levels okay like how many levels you are having here you can see uh, this is the level distribution that means uh, we have uh, disgust actually a very less image okay in my uh, data set than surprise okay and almost all the data you can see it is in a similar distribution now if you want to see the uh, results that means the losses and map score you can see uh, this is the losses is decreasing and MAP is increasing that means your model is learning uh, well if you're uh, increasing the epoch size you will see that your model will learn better now let me show you some batch images as well so these are some batch images and if you want to see some batch prediction images so these are some batch prediction images okay now what i will do i'll uh, first of all validate on top of my test data because you can see i also have the test data okay so let's see the model performance so here i'm executing so i'm giving my base.pt location okay from this folder and i'm giving my test data location okay now you can see it is loading the test data and it will do the validation and here it will give uh, it will give you the matrices like map score okay you can see the map score so map score should be close to one okay that means your model is learning okay with respect to all the level now let's do the uh, inference okay inference on top of my test data okay so here is the command guys yolo task detect mode is equal to predict and here i'm giving my trained model location then this is the source is equal to i'm giving my test uh, image okay and save is equal to true now let me execute so you will see that it will load all the test image and it will do the detection on top of it and it will save inside runs folder see done if i open the runs you can see the prediction inside prediction all of the prediction prediction images uh, image is saved now let me show you some of them so if you execute this command uh, so if you execute this code it will load uh, some of the let's say predicted images from the folder and it will show you here you can see guys it is happy uh fair okay angry and why a double uh detection is coming because we already uh, uh because i already trained like this uh, model with 50 epochs so if you're increasing the epoch size you will see that uh it would be pretty good detection okay now see my model is able to detect although i have trained 50 epoch now you have to train 300 epoch guys okay whenever you are training just try to train 300 epoch after that just try to download the model and here you can use this particular code okay you can see guys i've already prepared the code let me open up my vs code here so in the readme file i already mentioned all the command okay you have to execute so first of all you have to create a environment with the above python 3.10 so this is the command just try to copy and try to execute in your terminal okay that's it so for me i already created i'm not going to execute then after that you have to activate the environment okay just try to activate after that you will see the facial then try to install the alternatives okay just copy the command and try to execute here it will install the alternatives okay once everything is done okay once everything is done open the main.py and here you just need to keep your base.pt model and inside that you just need to mention and source is equal to zero means i want to utilize my live camera that's if you have a video file that time you can give the video file location if you are an image that time you can give the image location but i want to use my live web camera so that's why i've given source is equal to zero okay if you have multiple camera that time you can also change the uh, source id got it but by default it uh, if you give zero it will take the web camera okay so now what i will do i will uh, uh, stop my camera okay in the recording and 
I will uh, execute this code and it will open up my camera. It will do the real time detection. Let me show you. So I have uh, closed my camera. Now let me open up my terminal and let me execute this command called python main.py. So guys, you can see uh, it has started my camera and it is doing the live detection. Now see if I show the face like that, it is detecting happy. Okay, it's detecting happy. And if I, let's say, change the... Um, okay, I'm not sure like how to show the set, but uh, let me stop the execution. Okay, you can try actually with different different images. So I think I already showed you now. So different different images gesture. So from here you can try, okay whether it's a sad image okay you can uh, make the face like that and you can uh, do that detection okay and again i told you guys uh, this is not an exact way to the facial emotion detection so for this we have to use the face embedding model so detection model sometimes it won't be giving you the good accuracy okay but at least you can do this kinds of project okay and it is fun okay with the help of yolo 11 we can perform it so yes guys i hope you like this implementation and uh, it was helpful so please try to support the channel, try to subscribe and try to share with your friends and family. With that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.